Hello, welcome uh, at the ride. Today, the model we would like to introduce to you is our brand new Chaser X. Um, we have some samples over here, and uh, the Chaser X has the VAS visor system. VAS stands for Variable Access System. The previous system was a little bit higher, with bigger side pods, but we decided to make it smaller, uh, decrease the line of the side pods, so you also have a much bigger, smoother surface on the top, just in case you might have an accident. The VAS visor system, the variable axis. To operate it, you simply push the black lever. Now the visor opens a little bit, and you have a small gap for ventilation. In the second step, you can actually open the visor. But I'll show it again. If you close the visor, simply lift up and open it. Two stages, open the lever, and next stage, open the visor. If you open the visor, you see here another black lever with an arrow pointing in the way to push it. So, in the full open position, push the lever and the holder will come off. So the lever has two functions. First of all, to release the holder, the cover to come off. And the second part is that the brass pin comes up, is taken out of the guidings. If you now close the visor until the brass point comes to the red dot, you can simply remove the visor. To install the visor, make sure there's a gap from about a finger depth wide on the front and you can slide it over so the breast point comes into the red dot open the visor and the breast pin goes back to the guidance in the full open position take the holder simply click on close it and lock it the fast visor system works with a, a big lever to open it and close it it seals off completely so no air coming in no water coming in Another feature that you can see immediately is the ventilation system. Uh, Arai always has a very good system of getting fresh air in and taking the moist warm air out. On the top you can actually see it by the big duct we use right now. It's completely closable, so also in case it rains very hard, no water will access the vent on the front side. On the rear you can see a big ventilation part with exhaust holes in order to extract the hot air. These are also featured on the sides on the back of the helmet just to make sure air can go out. It's always a combination of chin vent, brow vents, top and rear ventilation that causes the air to flow inside your helmet. The brow vents are a typical feature of a eye that makes sure that you don't have any holes in the outer shell which are weakening points but to make small holes in the visor with a channel that guides the air uh, towards the side of your face to the temple area. On the front you can see the chin vent, two positions. There's a position that guides the air over the visor and a position that guides the air directly into your face. A feature of every array is the double D chin strap closure. Quite simple to open, just pull the red tab and by pulling you actually can release the chin strap very easily. Pulling will make it tighter until you have the perfect fit. And this one will not release itself. The red button on the end is to hold the end so it doesn't start moving in the wind. This closure is the most safe way to close your chin strap and to keep the helmet on your head. So that's always been part of our way of producing the helmets. Comfort is a very important issue, especially in helmets. And to make the helmet as comfortable as possible, we use a special antimicrobial interior, uh, which is treated in such a way that it also will stay cleaner, longer and not smell so quickly. I will show you how to take it out. First you take the neck roll and you take out the small plastic parts. Same on the other side, you take them out. Second step is to take out the cheek pads. Take them from the rear and pull them slowly out. Not only the cheek pads but also the interior you can take out. The interior is fixed with four push buttons. I simply taking the helmet and pulling softly where the buttons are fixed you can take the interior out. We have these in different sizes so in case the helmet is too loose in your head or too narrow you can actually change the size of the cheek pads and interior to make it fit much better. These ones are the 25 millimeter um, you can also get them from 15, 20, 25, 30 and 35 millimeter. It's fixed on the front side with a small hook and on the rear you push it in. The cheek pads are of the new 
system we call facial contour system. So there is a plate on the inside which actually gives pressure to the bottom part of the cheek pad. You don't have this fixed feeling anymore that when you open your mouth you're biting on your cheeks. There's more pressure on the jawbone which you actually don't feel. Another feature is also the replaceable 5mm peel off layer. In case the helmet is too tight after wearing it for a while you can simply peel off the 5mm and you will have more space. It's easy to take the cover off so you can also wash it so it doesn't get too dirty. Two sides, left and right, together with the interior. In order to make a little bit more space in the chin area, we decided to take the center pad, which is here, and make it a bit thinner. That happens already in some other models, and it gives you a little bit more uh, room in the chin area. More comfortable, because you're not touching the chin bar anymore. I will show how to install the interior again. If you take the cheek pads, you look on the left side, pull the chin strap through the cheek part and first connect the hook on the front side and then simply push it in. Always make sure the chin strap is taken out. Well. Second part, the right side, the chin strap through the cheek part and again first the top and second the bottom. The hooks from the neck roll are fixed under the triangular flap at the cheek part. You push the small plastic lever under it. And last, you take the interior and you make sure the four push buttons are fixed onto the four positions in the helmet. Another thing is the fixed non-retractable chin guard. This guides the air over your face better so it gives you a more aerodynamical feeling. The Chaser X, the model that can be used for just about everything. Sports, tour, uh, riding fast, uh, fits to almost everybody and with a wide variety of designs. We we'll hope to see you in the shop and thank you for watching. See you during our next episode.